What's up guys, so today I got a pretty cool video for you guys. Um, got a little bit of a challenge video. So last week I was at iCast and while I was at iCast we attended the Live Target Press event. And getting to go in there and do that was pretty cool but what was even cooler is that we got a bag full of goodies at the end of that little press event that had some of the new unreleased baits in it. And one of those unreleased baits is this thing. It's the Live Target spinner rig and it's their like hybrid version of a Alabama rig spinner bait it's actually small this thing's only half an ounce so I'll be able to throw it on my spinner bait rod so um, this bait was designed obviously to look like bait fish and when bass are feeding on bait um, this thing is gonna excel obviously but one thing that the guy talked about the design this bait was those times of year when the bass and the bait kind of suspend a high in the water column or you have schooling bass that are just kind of cruising around and you know that got me thinking last week when i was fishing right before i left for icast i experienced that i experienced those cruising bass that literally wouldn't eat anything but they were feeding on those little bitty bait fish literally about this size about that color and this thing is going to match the hatch absolutely perfectly for those kind of fish so we're going to take this thing today we're going to go do a little challenge and see if i can catch some bass on an unreleased lure i mean this thing i don't know it's i know it's not coming out until like february and um i'm probably one of the only people in east tennessee that have my hands on one right now so Let's get out there. Let's go see what we can do. As always, guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe button. Go down below and leave a comment and tell me what you think about this thing. So, let's get into today's video. All right, guys. So, here it is. That's what I'm starting with. So, I'm going to try to throw all day long and see if we can catch a fish on the unreleased live target bait. Let's see what happens. Yep. I'm pretty sure it's the same school. They just move back and forth. You know what I mean? Okay. Yep, yep, yep. That's in. Crazy. Right here they are. Dad, look right here. Look right here. That's the school. Oh yeah, they're eating good. They're eating good. Stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up. Oh yeah, they're eating good right there. Look at them, dude. They just don't even throw it whopper plover. Throw way past them if you can. Okay, look here, they're coming towards us. They're done. Good job. That's a good one, dude. Good fish. They're on the whopper popper. He's tiny, man. He's a little skinny, dude. There he is. Oh, I just got bit. Don't go in there. Got the line, son. Get him. Get him, dude. There he is. Oh. <laughs> oh, it is so much fun, dude. That's funny. I knew that little baby would be the deal. You yeah. Know? Good job. There's another one, dude. They ain't giants, but it's fun as crap. Stuff, dude. I mean, look. What you've got on right there. Look at that. Look at this, guys. This is what he just spit up. This is why this should be working. I'm going to keep throwing it because they, they should eat it. Dad's kicking my butt on this top water, though. A little mega bass top water. They ain't giants, but they're fun. Little fish eat it. 
Yep. He fit one up right here too, see? Yep. There they are. Look at them. Here's the star right there. There you go, yeah. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. All about the same size, ain't it? Yep. Danker. Another danker. Picked up the whopper popper. There's that. Let's put another minnow on there. That's hot. There, I see him. Yep. All right, I did it. I did it. I did it. <laughs> Challenge complete, and with not even the original shad on it. Look. <laughs> All right, there you go, guys. I had to replace the back shad because the tail got ate off. But challenge complete. Hey, nice. fist bump it. Nice. All right. And it was two chasing it. All right, guys. So I got the challenge complete. Now let's just see how many more we can catch on this thing. Um, it did exactly what they said it would do. The the fish hit the lower, slower, bigger shad. So it's pretty much you got the low slow, and then the top teasers, and then the blade in the center and. The fish did exactly what they said it was supposed to do, and that was hit that low and slower shad, even though I had to switch that shad out because the other one got its tail laid off. So I'm going to keep fishing this little setup. This is a, uh, what is this, a matrix shad? Matrix shad. Yeah, matrix shad. This is actually a red fishing bait, uh, like red fish that live down like in Louisiana and all that. So keep fishing and see what we can do. All right, guys, so as you can see, I completed the challenge. I actually caught a fish on this bait, um, which I'm glad I did. I mean, it kind of proves to me that this thing is going to work. And I think just like anything, this bait is going to have its time and it's going to have its place. Uh, where that is, I think is definitely in scenarios like today where you've got a lot of these size bait fish up in the column. Um, also fall time um, when they're eating a spinnerbait A-rig, springtime when they're eating a spinnerbait A-rig. Um, this is definitely going to be a big player. So um, the the main swim bait did get tore. Um, the tail I got bit. I got bit several times on this thing. Only hooked up with one. So I had one bite that took the tail off. I think I have this swim bait. Yeah, no, I threw it away. Um, the tail got took off that swim bait. So I replaced it with this swim bait, which is actually a red fishing bait. Um, these things are super durable, so I thought, you know, I'll stick this one on here um, just because to put this new swim bait on here, there's actually a big weight right here that I think helps kill out the whole thing. So, it, you know, I knew I needed something super durable to push up on there because otherwise it was going to like waller it out and the swim bait would have slid off. So that's one downfall. I don't think you can just put a normal like run of the mill swim bait on this thing. I don't think you can like throw a, uh, you know, like a Big Easy or whatever else, you know, the Berkeley Shads, anything on here that didn't have this super durable material. I mean, these baits are made for saltwater fishing. That's why they're so strong. Um, the one thing that kept doing, which was strange, is the line kept wrapping around this. Um, I would just make just a normal cast, wouldn't get it hung on anything, the line would wrap around it, which I don't think that's that big of a deal. Um, the one thing didn't happen that I thought might, which was these teasers get jerked off by a fish. 
Now I did have several fish hit these teasers. The way I know that is I would be slow rolling it up to the boat. I would see them track up behind it and they would hit it and they'd hit these top teasers and obviously wouldn't get the one hook in their mouth. Now I think it's one of those things is when they're really keying in on this thing and they're eating it good that that wouldn't be a giant issue. These fish that I was fishing today were you know kind of finicky. That's why I thought this thing would be a good way to approach them just because it's a small bait fish representation. There was a lot of small bait fish up in the column. Um, but overall I think this thing is going to be really really cool. Um, the one thing that I did learn at at the, the event is this blade in the center you cannot change and should not change because it is perfectly weighted and designed um, to make all this run symmetrically um, so I don't know they're they're putting these out soon I'm not sure when I'll make sure I like put a time date something down here so you guys will know that um, these things you should be able to replace it's you can like snap them in and out of here this is just a thing you just open it up pull this off and should be able to snap a new one on because these things i think will eventually get ripped off there i think one good big small mouth that takes a swap at this thing and grabs maybe that one and that teaser's gone so they're going to be reselling replacement kits i think these things are going to be retailing for around 13 14 dollars i think even 15 16 is for the bigger ones and they're going to sell replacement kits for all the shad and the blade and i think those are going to be like four or five dollars a piece so a little steep for what it is but overall a really cool bait that i think is definitely going to have its time and definitely going to have its place so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to go down there hit that like button hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel um, make sure to go down there leave a comment tell me what you thought of this thing tell me if you know or think of a situation where this thing is going to excel um, because this is something i think i'm definitely going to fish with a little more just because i love the way it looks love the way it fishes um, but as always you guys are sweet thanks for watching